The first match on Sunday, kickoff 6 p.m. UAE, will see 2010 champions Spain take on tournament hosts Russia at the Luzhniki Stadium. Spain progressed as Group B winners would have yet to fall hit their stride. However, manager Fernando Hierro insisted his team are in fine shape. The Nationals' John McCauley, reporting from Russia, provides the preview for Spain v Russia, blank, 9.25 a.m., new kid on the block. Kylian Mbappe scored twice and created the penalty in the 4-3 win for France against Argentina. Michael Dalder, Reuters Kylian Mbappe's starring role for France in the 4-3 win over Argentina on Saturday felt like a coming-out party for the Paris Saint-Germain striker. Of course, any football fan not living under a rock is aware of the 19-year-old forward who became the world's second most expensive player following his move to PSG from Monaco. But his two goals and all-round performance against Argentina, grabbing the spotlight and putting Lionel Messi in the shade, felt like something bigger, something akin to Ronaldo's breakthrough for Brazil at the 1998 World Cup. Reflecting on Saturday's action, Jamie Prentice has put together the biggest talking points, with Mbappe deservedly front and center. Blank, 9 a.m., Ronaldo and Messi both out Argentina's Lionel Messi, right, and Portugal's Cristiano Ronaldo both departed the 2018 World Cup on the same day, AP photo good morning everyone and welcome to another day from the 2018 World Cup. After the thrill of the group stages, there was more than one member of the national sports desk concerned the knockout stages would turn into a series of drab matches, with teams aiming to not lose matches, instead of pressing for wins. Based on the first day, how wrong were they? France and Argentina kicked off the last 16 round with a humdinger that saw Kylian Mbappe take center stage with two goals in a 4-3 win that actually flattered Argentina. Richard Jolly provides his expert analysis on the game as Lionel Messi's World Cup dreams lie in tatters. After Messi made his early exit, surely his great rival Cristiano Ronaldo wouldn't follow suit, would he? But he would as Uruguay's feared strike duo Edinson Cavani and Luis Suarez tormented Portugal in a 2-1 win to set up a quarterfinal with France. Football correspondent Ian Hockey was at the Fisch Stadium to witness the match. Read his report and analysis here.